Hello friends, the, the theoretical questions is about centripetal acceleration. This is a rather difficult questions, the understanding of which requires you to know mathematics. So the first thing you need to understand movement along a curved line boils down to the fact that we can consider movement along a circuit. I'll draw something. So imagine that we have a section of a curved line. I can describe a circle of some radius in F part of it. In this regard, our task can be reduced to the movement of a body around a circle. Suppose the uh, body in the form of material points move along a circle which a constant velocity in magnitude. I have this drawing. Points A, points B, material points from A to B points. As I hope you know, velocity is a vector quantity. I'll touch the velocity is exactly constant in magnitude, but it is not constant in direction. Let's write down the acceleration formula, which I hope you know. I write approximately acceleration formula. V vector minus zero delta t. Our case um, model v zero is equal to v and uh, vector minus v zero is not equal to zero vector. This is very important of mathematical. I don't remember the rule of vector uh, subtraction, but I know the rule of vector addition well. So I'll do this. Mm -hmm. Vector V plus minus V zero. So what we have? I will apply the parallelogram rule and get the delta V. Let's see. As you can see, the delta V is not directed towards the center. No center. Center is this place and no center. But there is one thing. The fax is the acceleration in mathematical language is given in a different way. It's given to uh, the theory of limits. I'm going to write this now. Sorry, I forgot vector. Uh, and vector limit the, the zero delta v vector Delta T. Now let's think about what we can get of this. First, if the time interval tends to zero, the points B tends to points A. This means that the length of the arc AB is equal to the length of the hurt RB. Second, in this case O which a uh, stroke should aim at the center of the circuit O. And as a result, the AOB triangle will be similar to the BMC triangle. I'll write it now. I have this. The similarity of triangle imp implies the proportionality of 
these corresponding sides. AO treats BM the way AB treats BC. So that's what we have. I found the length of the arc or earth AB by multiplying the velocity by time. Since according the condition of the problem, the body moves at a constant velocity. What follows is simple match, which I am going to write now. I hope you will understand me. Properties of proportion. We have this. Er, er, sorry, er, er, we, Zekiel, we, Multiply delta t, delta v. So, consequence, what I gonna do? Properties of proportion. R delta v is equal v. Delta T. Where the second degree? Delta T. So consequence of this, divide both part by, by Delta T. And and R Delta V or Delta T like second degree. So the white buff part by R and we get Delta V, Delta T, Delta V, Delta T, uh, Delta T, second degree R. If we have Delta T, zero. If then delta v delta t cos of model without vector model and we have similar formula for you i hope centripetal acceleration um, second degree Error. That's all. That's all. Thanks for watching me. I'm going to draw the drawings about this. That's all. Bye bye. A one Yuri Kovalyonov was with you. Thanks. The result. Formula. Capital acceleration. I have the notes.